As pregnant women, we spend a lot of time anticipating the birth of our babies. And for some women, that means anticipating the pain. But what if our expectations made us feel more or less pain? We're gonna find out what the science has to say. To shed some light on this idea and pain in general, we got a hold of our friend Liz. Hi who just so happens to be studying how culture and social behavior influence pain perception in the mind and brain. There are some very basic mechanisms at work that we understand pretty well. Liz explained that there are two main parts to how our bodies sense pain. The first is the bottom-up pathway, Ooh, not bad. which is where specialized nerve cells respond to tissue damage by sending signals to your spinal cord and brain. But there are also pathways that go in the opposite direction, from the top down, where your brain can send signals to your body to essentially turn up or turn down your sense of pain. Although it's less well understood, studies are beginning to hint that these brain-to-body pathways can be affected by psychological factors. Things like social relationships, emotional factors, and even your expectations of pain can have an effect on how a person feels pain. And this can be boiled down to the placebo phenomenon, when a person's expectations influence their perception of pain and even the actual physiology of their pain pathway. The more positively somebody is thinking, potentially the bigger placebo effect they're going to get and the more their own body is going to engage uh, their own body's pain relieving system and turn down the volume on their pain. But the flip side is, if positive thinking can turn the pain down, studies show that negative thinking can actually turn the pain up. This is called the nocebo effect. Nocebo, nocebo, it's just fun to say. Basically, when people are going into any painful situation, expecting the pain to be really bad, that certainly has the potential to enhance it. There's quite a real biological mechanism behind the effects of changes in expectation about pain. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are tons of studies that show that pain is this crazy multi-dimensional interaction between body, brain, and environment. We don't mean to get all oh. on you, not that there's anything wrong with that, but the science is telling us that the experience is more than the sum of its parts. I gotta wonder if other cultural aspects like how women are depicted giving birth in movies <laughs> If that could have an effect too, something to think about. But as you head into childbirth, hopefully it helps to know that thoughts and expectations can actually affect your pain pathway. Pain is something that's extremely malleable. If people can keep that in mind, then I think the potential for decreasing the fear and increasing well-being uh, gets a lot greater. Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Haley and this is Rob. You can check out our other videos here and please like and share them with your friends so we can make more of them. All right, see you next time. Um, the funny part is, is that I really do yoga and I really do say om. Um. <laughs> and I really did use it in labor. Om. Um.